Scientists at the National Ignition Facility, shortened as NIF, have achieved the phenomenon known as ignition. In other words, they created a nuclear reaction that produces more energy than it consumes. Because ignition projects often ended in failure, many believe that ignition was simply not possible. But in the end, the group that believed fusion ignition would be real was right. So what does this success mean? Is this achievement really a revolution? Can we now use nuclear fusion to produce unlimited clean energy? Or are we just at the very beginning of the road? What is the fundamental problem of fusion energy? The goal we want to achieve with nuclear fusion is to mimic the way the sun produces energy. The sun can easily fuse atomic nuclei to convert mass into energy. Each second thermonuclear burn in the sun's core converts approximately 10 billion pounds of mass into energy. In this way, the sun creates 10 by the power of 26 watts of power every second. Science has been unable to replicate even a small portion of this abundance in a controlled laboratory environment. The biggest problem faced in a laboratory has been that nuclear fusion needs more energy than it can produce on its own. What is NIF's approach to solving this problem? Many approaches have been tried to solve this problem. NIF's approach was inertial confinement fusion, shortened as ICF. To force two atomic nuclei to fuse, it is necessary to solve the problem of their mutual electrical repulsion. ICF implodes a fusion fuel capsule compressing the fuel atoms to pressures of billions of atmospheres and temperatures of millions of degrees. NIF drives this implosion with a massive laser to simulate conditions found inside the hearts of stars. How did the NIF achieve nuclear ignition? NIF delivered nearly 2 megajoules of energy to a pea-sized gold cylinder containing a pallet of the frozen hydrogen isotopes deuterium, and tritium. The facility used 192 laser sets for this energy delivery. The energy pulse caused the capsule to collapse. This created temperatures that only occur in stars and thermonuclear weapons. The hydrogen isotopes fused into helium, releasing more energy and causing a series of fusion reactions. According to the analysis of the results, about 3 megajoules of energy were released. This corresponds to roughly 54% more energy than the energy involved in the reaction. Therefore, we can safely say that ignition took place in the experiment. However, although the fusion reactions produced more than 3 megajoules of energy than the energy sent to the target, NIF's 192 lasers consumed 322 megajoules of energy in the process. This is almost a hundred times more than the energy obtained. For this reason, NIF is still not a fusion energy device that can be used in our daily lives. It's just an important milestone. What does NIF's success mean for the future of fusion energy? These results created great excitement about the future of fusion energy. But there is still a long way to go. Above all, NIF was not designed to produce commercial fusion energy. It is also doubtful that the laser-powered fusion technique will be the approach that provides fusion energy in the future. However, this latest achievement is an important step that increases our belief in the realization of laser fusion power in the near future. Therefore, these results may open the door to a new program focusing on commercial energy applications. In short, we are still far from producing commercial energy with nuclear fusion, but even if this success is not a revolution, it can certainly be the beginning of a great revolution. We are now closer than ever to the dream of producing endless clean energy, but we still have a long way to go.